Hey everyone, here's part two of my hawk painting, which I'm starting to lay in the uh, out of focus background with different uh, opaque colors. So right now I have two airbrushes I'm working, uh, the HP Plus, HP SB Plus, which has the side bottle. It's very close to the Micron, but Micron is my favorite. It's finer details. Okay, so I'm laying in a little bit of uh, the beiges and the, the, I guess it represents the trees and the different things. Who knows what's in the background? It's all out of focus. I'm just going to kind of mimic it a little bit and put it where I, where I see it. I'm not worried about it being so uh, exact that it's falling in place to every little spot. I'm just using this as a guide. Um, the blurrier the background, the sharper the uh, bird will be. I am using all frisket in the first video. The introduction video, I was going to use more of a paper shield, uh, which basically is to protect the bird, you know, the shape of the bird. But the more I thought about using frisket originally for the eye, and the beak, which I was going to do all along, I just covered the rest of them. And I'll worry about the edges, such as the beak. Don't want to make it look like a, a cutout. But I do want to lay the background in, and I want it to be there first so that I can see the bird better. The, the background will be... And it doesn't mean I can't go back later to do a little more to the background. I just want to get it started at this point. So... Here we go, we got uh, more green over in here. I'm just gonna put in the yellowish, yellowish green right now to just get him started. I'm leaving a little white area there for a darker, a little bit darker, a little bit of darker green um, to get that going. Okay, so. Just got a little bit off the beak right here. It's kind of glowing right there. It's really nice. And I'll just kind of just dust this in from far away. Give it some other colors as we go. The browns. There's some little yellow on top of that brown right there. And Again, I'm just working it as I see it. Okay. Um, let's get going with some darker green. Start applying or putting in, I'll just use the Micron here for this. Blow out one color and put in the other as we go. Got about one, two, three, four, five. That's six, six different colors going on here to help me uh, move along. All right, so right over here, there's this nice little area. It's actually very light right here. It's, I'll probably spray white over it. I like the patterns that it's starting to. So I can always bring the darker greens on top. So it really won't matter as far as what goes, you know, from light to dark is the way I like to work. So the darker ones can go right over this area here. And we'll just see how that's going to look in a second. I'm going to get the dark green right now. Little by little. I've reworked backgrounds to, uh, you know, change them up a bit if I have to. And uh, as long as you've got the bird protected, you can go back in. All right, so here's my darker right in here. We're going to be working the darker color, darker value. And this, this particular color is not, um, from what I'm looking at on my phone, which I'm seeing... You know, the cell phone, 
closer to my eyes than the actual reference. So I'm just going to kind of wing it here. I know it's darker than that in that spot there, but this one area kind of goes up. I like that pattern here. Kind of goes up and then there's another green in there, a lighter green. So it kind of dances all around a bit. Just be thinking of when the camera just, I mean, you can make this up yourself, you know. Just be soft and out of focus, blur. That's what this comes down to. This will get darker here. I'll be mixing more uh, probably black and reds and stuff into the, to get extremely dark. But right now I'm just kind of giving it a, a, a pattern to go by. All right. So, get that. Now, I'm going to be moving the reference picture. And you can see here, I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to put in, I don't know what that represents, but it's, I'm just going to copy what I see. And uh, it adds a little more color to the background. So right now I have to work, I have to kind of wing it here with, uh, having the reference on my lap. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. It's gonna be a really extremely dark there. Let me just put a little color in here. Like I said, I might go back in later and, and work this. I can put the color here, even though it is gonna be really dark, as you can see. Dark covers, you know, the lighter colors, so there's no problem there. All right, so it's kind of going that way. Let's get this empty. Got the little uh, Awada. I guess it's, I forget what it's called. It, it's this thing. <laughs> it receives the uh, overspray really nicely. And, okay, so let's see, I mixed up. This color here, got to stir it again. Got these little color cups and put the lids on them. They're solo cups like you use for the restaurants. Use them, you know, for um, cocktail sauce and what have you, things like that. And so now I'm looking at my picture and I'm gonna just dust in lightly, as you can see the actual, I, maybe it's wood, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely got its own little uh, place here in the picture. There, it will be darker, more red, red brown in this area. And uh, as long as it's out of focus and all kinds of interesting looking, it doesn't matter if I really stay with the photograph as far as every little detail as far as the background goes. All right, before I go too much further, I am going to um, a little more here. I'm going to clean off the, the frisket a little. Okay, so I put this here. All right, so. You can use your finger. It's pretty dry. I mean, that's the luxury of this beautiful paint that when I used to paint with oils, well, everybody that knows oil painting knows that you, you got <laughs> a lot of time in between for drying time. And this doesn't need that. This is drying almost immediately. And here we go. So we've got him you know, we got him blocked in a little bit. A lot, a lot more dark greens are going to go in, as you can see in here. Um, but at this point in the game, I wanted to just get something started. Um, I do have to pay attention to my edges later, especially as I said in the introduction video. I don't want this to look like a cutout. So when I start, um, 
working on the uh, beak. I'll be erasing some pencil lines and working on the beak. And then I'll, I'll try to freehand and get in as close as I can. Maybe use the paper shields at this point, back and forth with frisket and um, wherever I need a really hard edge, I'll be using uh, the frisket, like for here. This is already cut out for the eye, the iris that's cut out. And then the uh, black area that's all around the iris, as you can see here. I'm going to make that a separate video because I'll just do the, the whole eye for it. All right. So... Um, so that's a little bit about how I go about the background. Um, I will, I will be, uh, working on it more and more off camera to get it exactly where I want it. But for now, I wanted to just show you a start to, uh, get this thing moving along. And, uh, I'll probably... Let's see, let me get a little more greenery in this area here. This brown gets a little darker right here first while it's in the gun, right in this area. So it's not just one value of the same color, it's different things going on. Uh, right off the beak here, there's kind of like a soft, I'm, I'm far away with the airbrush, so I'm trying to create the shapes I see. Tip dry. So you can see where I'm going with it. Yeah, just working it slowly but surely um, to get what I'm going to be happy with in the end. So anyway, this is uh, this is the first video of actually painting, and I'll be like I said, the eye will be its own. Um, video, you know, just working on the eye, trying to get that to come up. And you can see here I'm putting in more of the brownish tones. Just laying it in. I don't know if I see any here. I just, yep, I see a little bit right kind of in the green area. That's what's going to make it look interesting to see all the colors swirling around. That. There's even dark burnt, burnt umbers and things. It looks like they're very muted, but they're in there. Um, so let's see, get a little more. You see almost like a circular thing going on here. Let's give it a little covering there. Okay. So. I'm going to probably call this video as far as the startup of the background and I will uh, probably work on it and get it to where I want it to be as far as, you know, the, the exact uh, shades and darkness above him and all, all the things that are not in it yet. But I want, it, it's, it's the same thing. You just keep working it until you get, you know, what you want then everything that is here, as you can see in the beautiful photograph, will be totally sharp and uh, ready to be worked on. As far as the white of the board, I'll, I'll work from the eye out, like I said in the first video. Uh, then I'll be working on uh, the feathers around his eye. I'll start the beak. And then I'll slowly but surely work my way um, into the, the rest of his body paying 
close attention to the crazy details of, sorry about that, of this, uh, the feathers that are all spike in there and showing all that. So anyway, there's the startup and uh, I'll bring you the next one pretty soon and thanks for checking them out and I'll see you on the next video. Take care and if I don't post one before New Year's as far as after this one then have a safe and happy healthy New Year and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye.